Yo, what to do, YouTube? It's your boy JC Dime, and this is Coast Talk, episode number 16. Yo, what to do, YouTube? It's your boy, GFC Diamond. We are back with another episode of Coast Talk. And this week, we are going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, most people may know, if you follow me on Twitter, which the link would somehow just pop up on the bottom of the screen. But, um, yeah, if you do follow me on Twitter, you might know, or if you follow the Fade Podcast, you may know that I talk a lot of trash about the Jacksonville Jaguars. Because I call them overrated. And I believe they are. Their defense is subpar, but their offense is poop in my opinion. And the only reason they're good is because of Leonard Fournette. And the good news, Leonard Fournette is questionable for playing this game. He might be out. So that gives us a little leeway in actually winning this game. But this game is at 1 o'clock on CBS tomorrow, Sunday, for people who are watching this maybe late or early when this drops if you're a notification gang and you are notified when I do drop my videos, but if you're not, and you're just clicking on, be like, oh, he's a close fan, let's see what he's talking about, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and subscribe, um, you know, stay tuned with my videos, this is not the only type of videos I drop, I do drop other content on this channel, but yeah, you know, stay in tune, and we're gonna go ahead and keep talking about this game, so this is week seven, um, there's a three and three split between three teams, there are the Texans, the Titans and the Jaguars are all three and three, and we are two and four. So if we do win this game, we can definitely be in back in the playoff talks of going into it and actually winning. If we do beat the Jaguars, we can still be in a conversation of making the playoffs because anything is possible, man. The AFC South is wide open to win. Everyone has a problem on their team. If it's not us and Andrew Luck or uh, Chuck Pagano, the, the Texans do not have Merciless and J.J. Watt. The Titans are still lingering with Mariota and his injury, and their team is still trying to find their way together as well. Even though Mariota's playing, it's still questionable how they're going to get this solved. They still have running back issues of who's going to start, if it's going to be either Derrick Henry or DeMarco Murray, or DeMarco Murray, excuse me. Um, they have that problem. The Jacksonville Jaguars need to fight their kink. They are good on defense, but they have lost two games in a row, which is actually a good feeling for us. Because now we can make it three. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead with the history of the Colts versus the Jaguars. Now, the Colts have led this series between the Jaguars 22 to 10. We have played 32 times and we are leading that series. The last time we played, we did lose by four points and we were on the road. We were playing that game at home, I believe. Sorry. The last time we played them, other than that, it was in London, England, and we did beat the Jacksonville Jaguars in their home in London. Just to let people know. Beat them by three points. But half of our games were close. Other than that one, we beat the crap out of them 51-16. But other games in that was pretty close. Um, we're always having a good game with the Jacksonville Jaguars, no matter how good Blake Bortle does or how good they do on Marquise Lee or who they had at their star wide receiver at the moment. But... Um, Fournette is questionable to play this game. Uh, they do have Jay Ajayi, I believe, as their running back. No, not Jay Ajayi, excuse me, Chris Ivory, sorry. Chris Ivory is their backup running back for the Jacksonville Jaguars. We had a few histories with him as well. Um, he never did that much of a good job against us, but he did make himself productive. But he is no Leon Fournette. If he does not play, that would be a big factor on the team. And it actually be a blessing for us if he does not play. We definitely need this W. Um, but week six against the Rams, Fournette had uh, his third 100-yard rushing performance this season, and he hurt his ankle, his right ankle, later on in that game, and he might not play against us. Um, he has been accountable for 36% of the offensive yards for the team so far this season. Um, his 596 rushing yards is the second most behind uh, Kareem Hunt, which is 717. So that shows you how valuable. Fournette is for the team. And if we could stop him and manage the run, if we can just contain that and force Blake Borders to throw passes and knowing Lord knows how much he cannot really throw the football. He's decent, but he is not that good. That actually be a blessing for us because I can see Malik Hooker 
playing a big role in this game if Blake Bortles is throwing the football very often this game. So other than that, um, I just need us to hold the line, give pressure on defense, on Blake Bortles, hold the line to protect Jacoby Brissett because that is definitely needed this game with a defense like this and them having their second, one of the top corners so far in the league in uh, Abouye. If we can hold that and Brissett can do his job and Marlon Mack will be called upon to make a force this game, we're definitely gonna need that in this game for uh, to us to win. If we can manage the run and somehow get the ball thrown without being picked off, we can win this game. And if we do, we have to hold on to the lead. I'm gonna bring this up too. I was gonna make a separate video, but I'm gonna wind up bringing this up. Stop the music. Chuck Pagano's on the hot seat. I don't care what no one says. If we lose this game and we have the lead, I don't see why he's still coach. Chuck Pagano has, it has, something has to be done. We have had too many leads so far this year where we could have beat teams and we wind up blowing it, losing the lead. He, I don't think he knows how much this is important. The AFC South is wide open. There is no J.J. Watt on the field. No J.J. Watt. They have to rely on Deshaun Watson and DeAndre Hopkins. That's it. The Titans are subpar and the Jacksonville Jaguars are overrated. The Colts can win this division. All we have to do is get rid of Chuck, was up. Chuck Pagano. I'm on that bandwagon now. I wasn't at first, but after the recent struggles of us holding on to a lead and collapsing in the second half, something has to be done. We're not tanking. We're just waiting for luck to come back. And we're not even sure when he's going to come back now anymore because he was supposed to come back last week. This is, this is getting very uh, upsetting. Uh, I'm not liking it at all as a Colts fan. Um, I definitely would love for us to make some changes, I mean, immediately. We can't just keep having these losing seasons and these moments with the coach. Don't even know who we're playing at times. There was press conferences when he'd bring up another team that we haven't even played. So after the shutout in week one by the Los Angeles Rams, we continued to struggle after that. We won at least two games, which is fine. But then we lose the teams where we should have been beat. We should have beat. And I'm not going to blame it all on the coach, but something has to be done with the management here. Uh, other than that, Chuck Pagano is on the hot seat. If he loses, I, I definitely can see him losing his job. He has to. We can't just keep having this guy struggle with the team. <clears throat> so other than my rant on Chuck Pagano, we're going to go ahead and talk about Josh Ferguson um, being elevated to the active roster because of the injury of Robert Turbin and his elbow. We are going to go ahead and put him in the active roster. <clears throat> so shout out to him for making a roster. Um, I hope he can go out here and make some progress and make some business, do his job, and force us to get the W this week. Um, we're going to talk about uh, Clayton Gathers as well. He's been out all season with the neck injury. Um, he's definitely been practicing this week on limited, which is not bad at all. Um, I'm happy he had a speedy recovery and his surgery was successful. Um, I mean, the recovery was successful. Um, I'm glad he's back um, in the practice. So has Andrew Luck been, but no one knows what he's doing. Uh, hopefully, we can figure something out soon. Scott Brissett has 1,200 passing yards so far. Three touchdowns. His quarterback rating is the 46.1. Frank Gore leads us in rushing with 288. And T.Y. leads us in receiving with 485. He has 25 receptions and one touchdown. That's pretty good. Um, Jonathan Bostic leads us in tackles. John Simon has three sacks. He leads us. And the leading in interceptions is the rookie, my boy Malik Hooker. Gang gang in the building. Shout out to the boy Malik Hooker making a big role. On to the Jacksonville Jaguars. They, uh, Blake Bortles lead them with 10, with a uh, 1,000 passing yards. 100, with 10, with 10, 1,000 passing yards. I'm sorry, I don't know what I was talking about. He has eight touchdowns and his quarterback rating is a 36.8. Leonard Fournette leads them in rushing with 596. Uh, he has 130 carries and six touchdowns. Marquise Lee, 291 receiving yards, 20 receptions, and no touchdowns. Um, they're 29th in passing yards, first in rushing yards. Uh, points for, they're eighth with 26, and points against, they're seventh with 18.3. 
This game is wide open. I can't stress how much we can win this game. It is definitely possible. I don't care what no one say. Injury report. Daryl Daniels, our tight end, is questionable with a knee injury. Frank Gore is definitely might play this game, but he's going to be resting a lot as usual. TJ Green is questionable. Ryan Kelly is questionable as well. I can definitely see him playing. Andrew Luck is out, as everyone know. John Simon will be playing this game. Robert Turbin and Anthony Walker are both out. That is the injury report. My predictions, of course, Coast Nation. I see us getting this W. There's no way around it. This game is wide open. So is the AFC South. We can do this. Pagano's in a hot seat. I'm just going to pray. Luck can come back fast and soon as possible. Um, I'm not going to wish any injuries on any rivalry teams, even though I know I want to, but I won't. But Colts can get this W. Every game we play is a for sure win. It's probable we can do this. We just have to hold on. But that's all I got for you. GSC Dime signing out. Peace. Coach Nation, we out.